What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to fix a corrupt file error with the Bulldog GT tuner. So this is for 2011 to 2015 Ford F-150s. Um, I'm not sure what all models, but this one happens to be in a 3.5 Platinum. So let's get so started. So the first thing is you wanna take and remove the micro SD card out of its slot. It'll look like this one. Um, this is actually it right here, but it comes with a micro SD um, card reader, but the one that it comes with is not that great. So I recommend getting a better one. These are class four SanDisk, not the greatest. So I recommend getting a class eight and just swapping over files like this pro right here. Come to find out a lot of the issues are just cheap micro SD cards that get corrupted. That's pretty common with Androids and computers to have this issue. And you wouldn't think it would affect your tuner, but it's the same kind of SD card. So a quality SD card will definitely make a difference in longevity. But now the next part is we got to go download some software. So go ahead and head over to the Bully Dogs website. Head over to Bully Dogs website and you're going to want to look for the light truck. Well, it's light duty, not light truck, light duty update agent. And you're just going to download that. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to see this pop up. Now you're going to take your SD card and plug it into your computer. Once you plug it up into your computer, this box is going to pop up. You're going to click on it and hit select. And now you can see ours is up to date because I just did this for a TikTok video, but what you literally do hit update. It's going to come over here, retrieving the correct files from the server. So you do have to have internet on your computer that you're using. So we're just gonna let it go ahead and download that and I'll be right And back. I guess while I'm at it, I can show y'all how to transfer all your files while we're waiting. So this is the bully dog card right here. You could literally just open it up, copy all these files into a new SD card and name it BD card and number E, I mean letter E, just to make sure everything's right with the programmer. That's not a necessity, but it's super simple. Um, you don't need anything bigger than an 8 gig. You literally just transfer all those files over to your next disk and you're good, good to go. Alright guys, so once the new files have downloaded, this is what you'll be prompted with. You can go ahead and close it, exit, and now you can go ahead and install your tuner back into your vehicle. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps you all out. 